Hello, and welcome to Eat Your Way to Happiness with me, Bonnie Woodcock. Now, ladies, what do you suppose this is? You'll never guess. So, you've been invited to a buffet party and been asked to bring something along. Now, I myself would bring along my salmon spectacular, a beautiful salmon on a mirror that looks like it's swimming in the sea. You pop it on the table, and then along comes Marjorie with potato salad. Looks like she's thrown up in a bowl. But ladies, there is no need for your potato salad to look like vomit. I'm going to show you a trick now of how to make it a little bit spectacular in itself. I've already made the potato salad that's chilling in the fridge in a loaf tin. You can find the recipe for that in my cookbook, Buffeting with Bunny, and it's also in the latest edition of my magazine, Bi-Weekly Bunny. For now, let's make the glaze. What you need for this is uh, some chicken stock and some mayonnaise. You can buy the ready-made stuff, ladies. You don't have to make your own. And some gelatin, some lovely gelatin. Where would we be without gelatin? So, pop half a cup of this chicken stock. No, a bit more. And the gelatin straight in. There it is. There it is. And then take your spoon. And just give that a good mix up. There we are. So it's starting to congeal already. So I'm going to pop that into the mayonnaise. There it goes. Look at that. Mmm, yum. And we're going to then mix that together. Look at that. It's going to make a lovely glaze, isn't it? Can you see that? So there we go. And when that's done, all mixed together, just pop it to one side for 10 minutes to get nice and hard. Now, ladies, this is a potato salad that I had chilling in a loaf tin in the fridge. So. What we're going to do is present it properly. Get yourself a nice presentation plate, just like this one. And we're going to use the old upside down trick to get it out. So first of all, let's take the layer of cling film off. And then we're going to pop the tray on top and do a quick switch over like that. And down it goes, you see. And now you should be able to lift off the tin very easily. Voila. And then take off the cling film. Very easily, and there you have it. You see, ladies, a lovely shape. Your potato salad, unlike Marjorie's, does not have to look like vomit in a bowl. But it's not finished yet. Oh no, oh no. What we're going to do is we're going to take that lovely glaze, that mayonnaise glaze we did, and we're going to pop it all over. All over it, so it looks nice and uniform. Can you see that? There we are. Lovely, lovely. What it does is it gives it a nice casing, you see so that it looks very nice and well presented on the plate. Just let it slide down the sides a little bit. There we are. Isn't it very marvellous nowadays, ladies, that mayonnaise can be bought. One doesn't have to spend hours mixing it together. Very convenient nowadays, a lot of cooking. But that doesn't mean we get lazy. Because as soon as we get lazy, our husbands find somebody who isn't. So, there you have it. Your potato salad, all glazed, just needs to go in the fridge for a couple of hours to properly congeal. Now, ladies, your potato salad is still looking rather plain, isn't it? So let's liven it up a little bit. We're going to make it look like a picturesque garden scene. Now, what you need for that is some grass. Now, all you do is you take the heads off the parsley and leave that to one side for later. We'll do some more of that in a bit. And then you need some garden posts for your garden. So how that made is your carrot. You chop a little bit off, about that much. There we are. And then chop it in half again. And take out a centre bit of the carrot. There we are. And what we're going to do then is fashion a lovely garden post out of that. You see? Isn't that marvellous? You'll need lots of those, ladies, so we'll come back to those in a sec. And now, what garden is complete without some beautiful flowers? And what we're going to use for those are these radishes and this cucumber. Okay, so let's start by creating the head of the flower. Now, it's a little bit tricky, ladies, so be careful on this, because what you need to do is, first of all, take the head off the radish, and then very carefully take off a side section of this. Now it's very important because these are the petals that you do it all the way down without cutting it off in the end. 
We'll try with another one, shall we? As I said, it's very hard. So take the head off and try to cut down all the way without cutting. So take the head off and try to cut all the way down without cutting off the head. Oh, there you go. You see, perfect. First time. And then keep going with those petals, you see? See how that's going to look magical, like a flower? So what you then need to do is cut into the petals like that, you see? Cut. Okay. So take the head off and then cut the petals without cutting into the bottom. And then once you've done that, cut these little petals into... Just cut these little petals, cut, cut little holes in the little petals. It's quite fiddly, this lady, if I'm, if I'm honest. But it's very worth it, it's the effect, very worth it. Uh, so that, that's one petal done. That's the second petal done. And we're just going to chop that. Okay, chop that, okay, uh, chop. And if it's quite, sometimes you might have to just tear away at the red. Mm. Might have to just tear away at the red, if you want to say this. Is, um, one more time. Okay, so we cut the head off. Then we cut very carefully, straight down into the sun. We have um, the lovely grass made of parsley and the beautiful radish flowers with its little cucumber leaves all held inside the garden by the orange gate post. Won't that look absolutely lovely on the table next to my salmon spectacular? Enough of the taste test. Join me next time on Eat Your Way to Happiness with Bunny Woodcock. There we go. Now what we're going to do is present it properly on a lovely tray just like this one. And the best thing to do is to use the upside down trick. So pop your tray on top. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you.